Hi guys, today we're going to finish off a question I started uh, a few days back. I'm going to compute the residual sum of squares. I'm going to be using matrices. You can see that's all to do with matrix algebra. So from a previous video we found the OLS estimator and we found this computed this gram matrix. I'm going to need these two bits of information to compute the residual sum of squares. So residual sum of squares by definition is the sum of squares of residuals where the residual by definition is observed for each for each case is observed minus the predicted value. So this is the residual sum of squares. That's u hat. Okay. Now we're going to need a couple of just to recap that okay that we have these rules using um, both transpose the residual sum of squares is a scalar, it's just a number and so we can check that these match, right, so here's the dimensions of things, that's 1 by 1, this is 1 by 1, 1 by 1, 1 by 1, that's good we can simplify these two we can combine them because you know one is a transpose of the other and what do we know about the transpose of a scalar is itself. So we may use this expression or that expression but only one of them is more useful to us because of the information we're given in the question. So to compute this thing we're given, can you see here, y transpose x so that means I'm gonna have two lots of this. So we, we just derived um, an expression for the residual sum of squares into these components and we have all these bits from above or in the previous question uh, not in the previous question I mean from what I did previously okay so that bit is less interesting I'm not going to bam going to wow you with my ability to uh, multiply ma do uh, matrix calculations because uh, I might make a mistake here but can someone check uh, I get if you stick all these numbers together uh, what do I get I get I get about 3.12 to do decimal places. We have no idea whether we've got this thing right or wrong, but I know that it's not negative, so that gives me a chance that it's correct. Anyway, guys, you know it makes sense. The thing to take away is this thing in the red box. Cheers!